friends, and welcome to LH Kids at Home. I'm Kaylee, and we're so glad you're here today as we continue our Easter series. Go ahead and smash that like button if you're glad you're here too. You may remember that a few weeks back, we learned about Jesus' triumphal entry. People welcomed Jesus as their king. They sang praises to him and followed him lovingly. When the religious leader tried to trick him, Jesus spoke with wisdom and authority. While eating the special meal of Passover, Jesus told his disciples to remember him. Then Jesus went to pray in the garden where Judas betrayed him. Judas! Jesus was arrested, though he did nothing wrong. I can't believe that. But today, we will see what happened after Jesus' enemies arrested him. I wonder where we can find this story in the Bible. Let's go to Wandering Wanda and find out. Oh, hey there, it's me, Wandering Wanda. You know me, I'm always wandering outside in the beautiful woods, and I'm always wandering in the Word, God's Word, you know, the Bible, the true story of how God made us, loves us, and sent His Son Jesus to rescue us. Now, before I show you where I wandered off to this week, let's go over our Bible verse for this month. Are you ready? He humbled himself by becoming obedient to the point of death, even to death on a cross. Philippians 2, 8. Now come on friends, would you like to try it with me? He humbled himself by becoming obedient to the point of death, even to death on a cross. Philippians 2, 8. Good job, my little wanderers. Now our Bible story today is found when you wander over to the New Testament. You can find today's Bible story in the book of Matthew and in the book of John. Thanks Wanda for helping us find our Bible story today. I wonder what Bible truth Baker Betty is baking up today. Oh, hi my friends. Welcome back to my kitchen. It's me, Baker Betty. I'm so excited that you guys are here because today we're making a crowd favorite. Rice Krispie Treats, which are super easy to make. All you need is three ingredients. You need butter, marshmallows, and Rice Krispie Treats. And all you do is you melt them together on the stove, and then you put it in a big pan like this one and let it set. And I actually made a batch a little bit earlier and they're still setting, which gives me time to talk to you about our Bible truth for today. You see, in our Bible story today, we're going to learn that Jesus lived a perfect life, but he died on the cross for our sins. In fact, that's our Bible truth for today. Jesus died on the cross for our sins. Why don't you say it with me? Ready? Jesus died on the cross for our sins. Great work. Now, once they've set, you can cut them out into fun little shapes like crosses. The reason I cut mine into the shape of a cross is because when I see a cross shape, I'm reminded how much Jesus loves me. You see, when Jesus died on the cross, it means that when we enter into a relationship with him, we become a part of his family forever. And that is the best news. And once you've cut out your crosses, you can actually decorate them with a little bit of icing or a little bit of sprinkles. Either way, they're gonna be delicious. Thanks for joining me, friends. I'll see you next week. Baker Betty always knows the best recipes. If you want her Rice Krispie recipe, be sure to check out LH Kids Facebook or Instagram this week. And if you do bake some cross Rice Krispie treats, make sure you send me a picture so I can see it too. Tag us on our LH Kids Facebook page or Instagram at hashtag I love LH Kids. Well, now that we know where to find our Bible story and we know our Bible truth, let's dive right into our Bible story. Jesus stood before Pilate, the governor. Pilate asked him, Are you the king of the Jews? Jesus answered, Yes, that's right. Then the religious leaders made accusations against Jesus, but Jesus did not say anything. Pilate was surprised that Jesus was silent. Every year at Passover, the governor would free a prisoner, whichever prisoner the people chose, at that time, there was a prisoner named Barabbas who was very dangerous. So Pilate asked the crowd, Who do you want me to set free? Barabbas or Jesus, who is called the Messiah? The crowd answered, Barabbas, Barabbas, Barabbas. Pilate asked, 
Then what should I do with Jesus, who is called the Messiah? The crowd answered, Crucify him! Crucify him! Pilate asked, Why? What has he done wrong? But the crowd kept shouting, Crucify! Crucify! Crucify him! Pilate's soldiers took Jesus to the governor's palace and gathered around him. They took off his clothes and put a scarlet robe on him. They made a crown of thorns and put it on his head. Then they hit Jesus and mocked him. Hail, King of the Jews, they said. The soldiers nailed Jesus to a cross. Then they cast lots to decide who would get his clothes. They put a sign above his head that said, This is Jesus, the King of the Jews. Two criminals were crucified next to him. As Jesus was on the cross, people mocked him. He saved others, but he can't save himself, they said. From noon until three in the afternoon, darkness covered the land. Then Jesus cried out, My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Jesus shouted again with a loud voice, It is finished! Then Jesus died. Suddenly, the curtain in the temple sanctuary split in two from top to bottom and there was an earthquake. One of the men near the cross said, This man really was God's son. Jesus was buried in a rich man's tomb cut into a rock. A stone was sealed in front of the tomb and Roman soldiers stood guard so that no one could steal Jesus' body. Jesus died on the cross for our sin. Jesus lived a sinless life and he died on the cross. But next week, we're going to hear about how Jesus rose from the dead. Let's stand up and worship Jesus in all he has done for us. Hey you guys, my name is Bethany. Today I'm gonna to be showing you the motions to Glorious Day. So the first thing you're gonna do, bring one hand up to your mouth, another hand up to your mouth, and roll your head around in a big circle. Next, you're gonna do four jumps. One, two, three, four. Step forward, clap, step forward, clap, back, clap, back, clap. Next, you're gonna wave your arms four times. Two, three, four. Then you're gonna step, clap again, step, clap, Step back, you called my name. Jump, two, three, four. Step, clap, step, clap, step, clap, step. One, two, three, four. And that's it, you guys. You just learned the chorus to Glorious Day. So let's get ready to worship. I was buried beneath my shame Who could carry that kind of weight? It was my tomb Till I met you I was breathing Failures I try to hide. It was my turn till I met you. You call my name. Chains break at the radio glory. I need a 
shelter. I was an orphan. Now you call me citizen of heaven. When I was broken, you were my healing. Now your love is the air that I'm breathing. I have a future. My eyes are open. Cause when you call my name, I ran out of that grave. Hey you cool kids, it's me, Dribble and Drew, and I'm all about making points on the court and in our Bible story. Let's check in with the points of our Bible story today. Point one, Jesus was put on trial before the Roman governor, Pilate. Point two, the people wanted Pilate to crucify Jesus even though Pilate believed Jesus was innocent. Point three, Jesus died on the cross to pay for our sins. Point four, Jesus was buried in a rich man's tomb. And those are the points, nothing but net. Great points, Drew. Thanks for always showing us the main points of our Bible story. Let's check in with Miss Amanda for our Family Devo of the Week. This story is the most incredible story of God's love in the history of the world. All people are guilty of sin, and the Bible teaches us that we all deserve death. Jesus is the only person who never sinned, and he did not deserve death. Yet, he experienced one of the saddest and most painful kinds of death. Just a week before, the people had praised Jesus, and now the crowds laughed at him and called him names and demanded that Pilate nail him to a cross. Jesus was God's son, and he could have stopped at any point, but Jesus was obedient to the point of death. Jesus could have explained to Pilate how he had not broken any laws. He could have used his power as God to escape from his enemies. But instead, Jesus chose to obey God. Jesus knew that this was just a small piece of God's wonderful and unstoppable plan to rescue us. Jesus carried a cross to the hill outside the city and allowed the Romans to nail his hands and feet to it. Jesus died on the cross for our sins. This week, as a family, read Matthew 26 through 27 and John 18 through 19 and ask yourself this, how does it feel to know that Jesus died for you, for your sin, so that you could be forgiven and have a friendship with God? Thanks, Miss Amanda. Listen, if you have any questions about our Bible story today or what it means to follow Jesus, message us at LHKids at longhollow.com and send us your questions. Well, thanks for tuning in to LH Kids at Home and our Easter series. We will see you next week.